Robbie Straker, today I'd like to talk to you about this app right here called DreamDroid for your Android device. And what this will do is allow you to connect to your open ATV operating system enabled satellite receiver. So here's where I have the satellite receiver and I just have it plugged into a, into a network router which uh, extends it throughout the network. So I'm using this one here, the Edison Mayo. And I got it here on the main TV here in our living room. Basically, uh, you can view your channels, uh, watch them over your local area network, over your network, your free satellite TV channels that way. You simply just uh, enter your host name IP address, which is your 192.168.1, whatever uh, your address is. And how you find that out is you just simply go into your satellite uh, receiver menu under your network settings, and it should tell you your host name address. And it should look like that. The way the settings I have here works for me. So we'll go with that. Uh, so the virtual remote, you can have your basic remote settings. If you want to extend your settings to have more of your remote control buttons, you can do that. So to change channels, you just simply select the channel that you want. You can go zap. They use the term zap in this, in this stuff. And you go stream to stream it. And it will just uh, stream it to your device. There I got video around. playing right there. <gasps> This uh, has a signal meter, which will allow you to view your satellite signal. So this is really nice if you're moving your satellite dish, like a C-band dish inside, and you're trying to adjust your dish so they get the peak signal. This uh, signal uh, meter is really handy to have. To learn more about free satellite TV and the open ATV satellite receivers, there will be links in the description of this video. And also you can go to freesatellitetv.net for more information on this. So please hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel and my other social media content. Also, I would like to thank my Patreons and the people who've donated through PayPal Donate with the cost of making some of these videos and buying products to review. Also, if you want to support me over on Patreon or PayPal Donate, it's a few dollars a month to help support production of my videos so that I can continue helping people with tech stuff like this. And thank you to all those out there who has supported my channel and my video work and online activity over these years by subscribing, by liking, by commenting. I really appreciate the interaction with you guys.